Yes, excitement is building in London with crowds flocking to the coronation's processional route. That's where our f senior reporter Jonathan Lee is. Jonathan, you're right in the middle of it, but the heavens have opened, my friend. What a surprise for the United Kingdom. Timmy, good morning to you. Good evening from old London town. It has been raining here, but that certainly hasn't dampened spirits. I tell you what, but I've got to explain this. Uh, and try and give you an idea of how it feels here. There is certainly a nervous, tingling excitement. Go back to the Sydney Olympics, ramp it up to 10, except this isn't over two weeks. It's all being pumped intravenously into your veins overnight. Thousands are here along the Mall already. They are just having a ball. Uh, we're going to sort of wave the camera around. Can we get a bit of a hello back to Australia? They have come from far and wide, and they are certainly braving the weather. Hello, Mum. You look lovely. From Chile, we're told... Let's see if we can just take our chances and get in here. We found some ladies who have come over from the United States. They were sort of working here collectively. Who are we going to chat with? Tell us the reason why you've come and why it's so important. The royal family is very important to us because only here in the UK do you have this, this royal family. Yeah. Nowhere else in the world and it's so special. A living history, a thousand years, goes back beyond you know, 1066. Really Who amazing. can outdo that? Can you give me a rendition of Here Comes the Sun like you are singing before? <laughs> Go for it. Three, two, one. Little darling. Na, 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 na. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Uh, Timmy, we're going to spin this way. Hello, mate. Uh, oh, give us a high five. Thank you. We promised a few people. You've also made it a bit of a different distance. Tell yeah. me the reason why. Uh, I just once in a lifetime opportunity just to be here and come and see the King get uh, crowned. So yeah, yeah, all the way from Yorkshire on my own this afternoon. Um, pitched up, and everybody is brilliant. Everybody's really kind, and it's in great spirits. Looking forward to tomorrow. To me, the Northerners have come down, which means it's always a good time. Our Prime Minister has been exceptionally busy. Today he caught up with the uh, uh, British Prime Minister as well at 10 Downing Street. There was also uh, an event for the Realm Nations. There's 15 Realm Nations. Australia is one of those. There was another event also for the Commonwealth Nations. There's 56 of those. Of course, Australia a leading nation amongst the Commonwealth. And those other nations and dignitaries that are here who aren't part of the Realm of the Commonwealth, they're all catching up this evening as well. This is what our Prime Minister had to say about his, uh, his chat with Richard Sunak earlier today. We discussed trade and the, the Australia-UK free trade agreement that will come into force on the 31st of May. Also the opportunities for our people-to-people -people relations to be expanded with visits uh, for working uh, holiday visas expanded and we also discussed our cooperation on climate change. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit scary what you find when people lean back here. Uh, are you all from Brighton? Yeah, no, I'm from York. Oh, you're, from, you're a northerner as well. Yeah. Tell, us, tell us about the excitement. How long have you been here? What's been happening? Uh, we've been here for a few hours. We got here the, yeah, after work, came up. Uh, lots of music, lots of excitement. Drinking, obviously. <laughs> yeah, really fun. What have the authorities been like? They've been very tolerant, very, very supportive. They came and let us wear their police hat, so that was quite fun. Um, so, yeah, they wished us good night and, yeah, let us take some photos and really nice, yeah. Tim, extraordinary feeling, uh, the Mall, thousands of people everywhere. It's all starting to get locked down now. You've got the, the big 10-foot fences making sure that the streets are safe. They can keep the people out who aren't going to be part of it. Uh, and, of course, the processional route begin at the Palace. It'll go down. You'll eventually go past uh, Trafalgar Square, of course, uh, down Whitehall, and eventually, uh, about a couple of kilometres that way, you'll eventually reach uh, the Houses of Parliament, Westminster Abbey. As I said, you start to talk about the greats, 1066, William the Conqueror, and all those who've come since. 39 monarchs, I think Charles will be the 40th, uh, the oldest person to take the crown at 74 years of age. So people have come, they haven't had an event like this since 1953. It's going to be a heck of a time. Mm. People are making sure they're not going to miss it, mate. Oh, absolutely. And it's quite appropriate that the World Health, Health Organisation has come out and today and basically said that the, the COVID emergency is finally over. So there's a bit of a celebration going on in London. Look, I, I remember well uh, over there for the London Olympics uh, over a decade ago now for Channel 9 and the feeling in London when big events are on, it is just palpable and unlike any other city, really. But there is no city like London. You know, many cities 
have their strengths and the reasons why you love them. But you come to old London town, it's a city that was unplanned, that evolved, it developed. It's got a tingle, it's got a buzz, its history is painted and smeared on the walls. The people are friendly, you know, they're gregarious, they come out, they chat, they love to be a part of it. It is just such a wonderful, wonderful place to be, Tim. Let's Believe hope the rain holds off for tomorrow. They thoroughly deserve it. It'll be even better if we beat them 5-0 in the ashes in a few months' time. <laughs> and you, you even got the American Spice Girls. We'll catch up with you a little bit later on this morning, Jono. Thanks yeah. for that, mate. That was brilliant.